Welcome back to Up North at 4. And joining us now, it's Gary and Dana from the Anigo Visual Arts. And so, Dana, <laughs> we got a lot to oh, talk wow. about. Yes. We really do. So, Anigo Visual Arts, I'm sure a lot of people in the Anigo area are familiar with it. But as we come further north, people are saying, oh, I never knew Anigo had a visual that? arts program. Okay, we what are a small ADA? gallery inside the Lane Lake County Historical Society. Okay. And a f probably about four years back, we started to try to get into the public art aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So we started doing some projects with the, with the city and um, mural project downtown, um, plastic bottle cap project with the Antigo Public Library, and then we kind of flourished into the school too. But a couple years back, the Association of Wisconsin Artists, AWA, came to us, wanted to do a wrap show at our gallery, Wisconsin mm -hmm. Regional Arts Program, which really what they want to do is they want to bring rural art, rural artists okay. in, have a show, the winners will go to a state exhibit, okay? Okay. So STAMP, which really we, we really want to talk about here too, is the student version of that, okay? Oh, okay. And STAMP we hold, and rep. Okay. Yes. Got it. <laughs> STAMP is statewide teen art mentoring program. Okay. Love it. Okay. So we... I get a hold of the s rural schools, mm -hmm. um, Rhinelander, Menominee, Wabino, White Lake, all these schools. Everywhere, yeah. And these art teachers will be considered mentors to these students, and they bring art to this show. We hold it at the Antigo Public Library. It's going on right now. It's exciting. It is judged, and those winners will go to the state as well. And Gary, Dana mentioned, you know, a small gallery in the historical complex there, but it sounds like it's really expanding. What does that mean to you? Well, what we're tr trying to do is is bring art to the whole community. And so through public art, some of the th some of the things we've done are we now have four murals in the community that can be seen by the public. In fact, on May 6th, we're going to be having a dedication in downtown Anago for those four murals, honoring the artists who did it, who donated their time to, to paint these beautiful murals. And so we're going to have a dedication in, um, in Kingsbury Park downtown on May 6th. But we also do um, bottle cap art, which the first time I heard that, I was like, what is that? I was thinking the but, same thing but, just moments ago. But, yeah. it's, but it's beautiful, and they have they make um, strings of, of, I mean, when they say bottle caps, it's it's all different sizes of lids from, you know, five-gallon pail lids to the cap out okay. pop bottle. So it's just not the Coke top. It's just not right. the Coke okay. top, yeah. And and I'm not an artist. I The only ability I have is to appreciate appreciate art. So, but what they do with that is, is beautiful, make beautiful art with it. They made beautiful, um, in fact, her mother did one just recently of, a, of an eye that's this big, that's just gorgeous, that's cool. out of bottle caps. And we have um, youth who do it. Um, many, we've worked with um, with, with the schools, Dan works with the schools with bottle caps. We've even worked with kids who have community service and had them do bottle caps. Okay. We've done it a lot with lots of youth. And uh, what's really cool is that when youth do something maybe that they've never done before and it turns out and they think, wow, this looks really nice, it really is a, a boost to them. That moment where it's like, I created that. Exactly, yeah. 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 So it's, it's, a, it's a great thing for them and that's why we try to do it. I, I think that's what is so cool to me about your whole organization is not so much that it's a space for established artists in the area to come and showcase the work, but you're also doing that outreach aspect of getting the kids involved and letting them create things. And maybe they've never done that before, but that's just kind of how you foster that yeah. uh, throughout your life. So Dana, I just heard your mom is an artist as well. So is that kind of the case for you? Is this something that you kind of got involved in at a young age with art and being creative? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> in my in my mind, art is very healing. Okay, and I was going through a divorce. That's when I got started doing art, and um, I do mosaics. Oh, cool. the plastic bottle cap thing kind of just like fell into the whole thing with the public art. We were trying to figure out how to. The community saves the caps. They bring them in, put them in a receptacle, and we just make art with them. So downtown we have um, light poles, and on the back there are these two. That we we string caps along those. Very cool. Okay, yeah. and and then now we're making a prom dress. So there is mm -hmm. someone who is. That came out of left field. What? It is. What? I have. I, yes. In, at school. Because we have in our art club at school. We have the plastic bottle cap committee. Through the kids have oh a committee. Gosh, yeah. And they are going to do a prom dress. So so this student is going to wear it to prom. 
Ah. I have the next level. We have uh, questions. I have so, so many questions. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're up against the clock. That's okay. We're going to take a quick break, and i got to ask about this prom desk <laughs> coming up, right? That's next level on Up North at 4. Stick with us. Okay. Welcome back to Up North at 4. We're joined by Gary and Dana from the Anigo Visual Arts. And you guys are just telling us that a student <laughs> is going to be wearing a prom dress made, made out of bottle caps this yep. year. <laughs> I've yeah. got questions. <laughs> okay. uh, for starters, why? Where did this idea come from? Well, Lady Gaga wore meat. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Inspiration, you, got, you get you it got everywhere. Got right. And you that's what me. I tell them. That is what I, I have told them that several times. <laughs> so was there pushback from the kids? Yeah, everybody's were they doing like, uh, well, I uh, no Yeah, it, I think it was kind of hard. I did have to ask several times. <laughs> Who would wear a prom dress? Uh, and and a student stepped up. Yes. So. Well, there we go. And and first I Thank was thinking. Thank you, student. Yes. Right. <laughs> You're watching. We appreciate it. <laughs> heck of a story. That's itself. a commitment. That is a commitment. It's yeah. a big ask. It is. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is. When you go into the schools, what's been the reaction to expand this into the schools? Is administration kind of open arms? Yes. As you go to businesses to put murals on buildings, it's been open arms. Yes. We have them coming to us and asking. They're really? coming to wow. you. Yes. Is yeah. that the city coming to you and saying no. we want to? help make our environment more artful? The city, well, city economic yeah. development, yes. They're very supportive. They are very supportive of this. In fact, they've they've set some money aside to help fund parts of it. But but we actually, now that we have some murals in the community, we've had other business people come to us and say, yeah. hey, I have a building here. I would love to have a mural on you it. Just Can you want to talk it off. To us? Once they see it, it's like, yeah. I want that. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you said there's, is it four murals? We have four murals right now. Um, we have, I think, three more that, that that we're talking about um, the, in wow. the community. Oh gosh. Dana, so, you have, I can tell you you're thinking a lot, right? It takes a lot. Three to five Three years to from now, where do you see this program? What's the dream? Uh. Well, I do mosaic, so I want to do something mosaic. <laughs> I would like to have like a, a, a mosaic seating area somewhere in the park. I don't know. Okay. Get and it, and, get and it I there. see. Yeah. I really just hope that we just get more involvement and more involvement, and it's easier because in the beginning it seems like it's really just yeah. a, a few of us really pushing. But we really need to talk about the Legacy Project in the schools yeah. too because yeah, that we, was a big deal. And this was, this this um, generated from from uh, Justin Markraff, um, who is the art teacher in the high school. He, he, he went to a conference and met a woman named Connie Greeny and she she does murals um, for for communities and for schools. And so he talked to her and so what happened came from this is we're doing, it's called the Anago Legacy Mosaic Mural Project Project. And we're actually doing a mural for each of the five schools. There's three elementary, a middle school, and a high school. And we're doing five murals. The the um, the, the theme is belonging, and I and we can talk about that in just a second. But what we've done is gone into the schools, and for each school, all the kids, the teachers, even the the lunch people and the bus drivers have made tiles, the ceramic tiles for these mosaics. And the kids have have done drawings. And Connie Graney, who's the artist we've hired to help with this, she takes a those drawings and she gets themes from it and creates the, the murals. And so in the fall, the kids were making the tiles. We'd go into the schools with, with lots of clay and we'd hit, we'd get, like in the middle school, we made 500 tiles in one day. Oh my God. And, and, and right now what we're doing is this week we're working at East Elementary. Um, on Tuesday, the kids glued the tiles to the board that will, will hold them. And today they're grouting that. So by the end of today, so the, the East mural will be completed. Um, and then on May 20th, Fourth, we're going to have a, a reveal and a dedication for all those. And I seriously, I've learned so much just from you two in these last few moments, and it's been a blast talking to you both. We're going to take a break, though, and up north at four. We'll be right back after this.